Welcome back to the Bernard Crossover. Mark, you Mark here, your host for tonight. Let's go straight up to what's up in the NBA. What do we got? I definitely want to talk about the all NBA first and second teams, mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, first team we have Giannis, um, James Harden, Curry, Paul George, and what? Jokic. Jokic. So, yeah. what do you guys think? Yeah. I, I think that's a pretty solid first round. I mean, first team in terms of season, if you look at the season. Mm -hmm. uh, James Harden has had and Giannis are there on top of uh, for MVP. And I think Steph Curry did have a really good year. He was just overshadowed by Durant's yeah. uh, impressive year as well. And Jokic was, has been my favorite player for the whole like regular season. So just how he made the team so much better. I'm, unfortunately, they couldn't make it past Portland. But I think he's been really good in terms of the best big man in the game right now. So It's just KD basically for me. KD is not mm -hmm. in the first team. That's kind of like, uh, but mm -hmm. I don't know who to take out. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the only problem. And, um, and Bede and uh, Jokic is kind of on the same level. So mm -hmm. he can never go wrong with those two, like mm -hmm. whoever his first team. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, with KD, that's the only thing I'm kind of like, it's kind of mm -hmm. questionable. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think with KD, like, it's kind of like LeBron, you're just used to him mm -hmm. yeah. being this great. Yeah. Um, and like Paul George is just having such a phenomenal year more. It's kind of like an outlier for here, yeah. for him at least. So you want to recognize him for that. Um, really, if Kawhi played the entire season, he'd probably be yeah, first I think so. Too. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what it was, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like, I, there's no real like, uh, like everybody that's on the first team, I don't really have an issue with. Yeah. What about the second team? What do you guys think? Yeah. Who do we have on the second team? So we have Joel, no, Joel, Kawhi, Kevin, yeah. and then we have Dame, Damian, yeah. Ka and Kyrie. Oh, Kyrie, and Drew. oh, yeah. What do you guys think about that? Like Kyrie's. Uh, mm, mm. Uh, I I don't know if he had a really good no, season. No, not even even for postseason too. Like the kid yeah. didn't even show up. Yeah, uh, like. I mean, Joel, I, I'd, I'd see that in terms of um, the way he carried the team for Philly. Yeah, for and, sure. And, and Kawhi, I think. I mean, he's been, just been phenomenal during the season when he's playing. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm thankful that they arrested him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thankful for that maintenance, load maintenance. Yeah. Uh, before I questioned it, I was like, hey, if you're really passionate about your team, like you'd play throughout it. And I'm yeah. just like, now I'm realizing, oh God, like, thank God they did. It's, it's crazy. It's like Maasai yeah. and like the Raptors organizations, like they know what they're doing, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when they rest them, it's like, why are you resting? But they get, yeah. 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 It's a pretty solid second time, uh, second team, I think. I'm pretty satisfied. I mean, Kyrie there. I think Kemba had a good season too. Yeah, Kemba, yeah. Um, but, just but he made, yeah, yeah, but he only made third, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'd rather have It's hard to the make it to like first or second when your yeah. team is not really... Mm -hmm. When they didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. Mm -hmm. All right, what about the all defensive team? What do you guys got for all defensive? Yeah, so for all defensive, uh, yeah. you have Rudy Gorbea, Paul George, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Marcus Smart, and Eric Bledsoe. And mm. I know he wants to say, yeah. like, how Bledsoe's <laughs> trash. How, did, yeah. how, did, how did you think Bledsoe yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I, like, I just want to say something. Yeah, <laughs> go, go. You've been, wanting to, you've been wanting to get this out of your he got system. Here, like, I'm just yeah. Get it out of your system. Well, well, yeah. Well, first with Kyrie being on the second team, if you just judge him on the season, I'm, I'm completely in support of that. Mm -hmm. um, because in the playoffs, he kind of flamed out. But yeah. obviously, this is a regular season award. Um, with Bledsoe, I mean, if it's a regular season award, then that's fine. But just in the playoffs right now, he's getting completely exposed yeah. Yeah. as a defender and as a basketball player. And frankly, I think Milwaukee should probably bench him a little <laughs> bit or like give away some of his minutes because he's yeah. actually just a minus. Yeah. yeah. And he's been a minus the entire series. Yeah. And I think he got he got the benefit of the doubt because Brogdon was out of the sure. uh, yeah. for quite a while and then yeah. that gave him the opportunity to kind of take on that combo guard position for Milwaukee yeah. for quite a few months for the season. Right. But Brogdon and, showed up. Yeah. Especially today's, today's game Especially too. Especially today's yeah. game. We can definitely yeah. talk about that I, later on. I'd rather see right there. Uh, I mean, Paul George has been really good. I mean, if Kawhi just played enough games, like yeah. he could be in both. Sure, I just sure. think he could have been in both. And I mean, Lowry too is a good. Def I mean, to, to lead the, the league in charges, to be the smallest. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, other players that have done it was like Anderson Virgil, yeah. Luis yeah. Cola. These kind of players are like you know big man that kind of steps in there and yeah. then takes mm -hmm. the charge. But it's. He le leads the league in like charges, yeah, and that's for, for sure. a small, yep. small guy to kind of step in there and take the body. I, I'm, I'm a big Lowry fan in terms of the yeah. defensive end, because I know sometimes he's mm -hmm. inconsistent with the offense, but defense, yeah. he always brings it. Who do you guys think got yeah. snubbed, though, when it came to yeah. the... Should be Patrick Beverly or Drew Holiday. Yeah. Mine is Draymond. Like, Draymond yeah, should yeah, be yeah. in there. Like, Bledsoe, what are yeah. you doing there? I mean, <laughs> right? Yeah, but Be Beverly was sticking KD in the playoffs, but yeah. this is a season. Yeah. So. A season. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, Beverly yeah, is, is yeah. Yeah, a good pick, too. Yeah. Yeah, so 
I agree. But uh, mine's Draymond. I just think he's been Draymond's that been good. killing it this whole like that, this whole series yeah. against Portland. He's yeah. been playing defense. He's playing yeah. offense. He's yeah. running. He's like back like 2015. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I think he was yeah. the reason why they were able to sweep the uh, the Warriors. Yeah. Because of the fact that he played kind of almost in a point where his emotion did not take over the game. It was him mm-hmm. playing just the way he plays back. You know when. Uh, he was averaging triple double, and Curry and Clay Thompson were just. He maybe got the benefit of mm-hmm. the fact that Durant is not there and not yeah. holding the ball as much as uh, he does. So then, uh, with Draymond, he's able to really run the the offense for the Warriors, and yeah. and because of that, I think he ben- he kind of feeds off of that energy into the mm-hmm. defensive end, and that's where you see him like locking down defend, uh, going switching pick and rolls, and can defend like Lillard or McCollum during that yeah. series. And, and I think that's, you know, my pick for <laughs> Draymond. It's just been really solid. Mm-hmm. Can I ask you a question yeah. that isn't <laughs> yeah. a part of this? Yeah. Um, do you think the Warriors are a better team without Kevin? Ooh. A better team? I, I think they're better for Clay and, and, and Steph okay. in, the way, in the way they play together. Mm-hmm. But I think they need Durant on right. those closing games um, okay. when they need to get a bucket. Yeah. And they can get the when because usually at the end of the day when they need a bucket, mm-hmm. what usually team would do is switch out on every single pick and roll. Right. And and that kind of eliminates the fact that Curry can step off of that uh, screen and kind of get that open lane or to clay. Mm-hmm. So when you have that situation when you need a bucket, you need a guy like Durant. But that's what they did with with last year to hit that shot. It was him. Yeah. And the year before that, it was him also. They hit the same shot, the big shot for them. Mm-hmm. Right. So. To get the lead, to get uh, to get a really good comfortable lead, I think it's better without Durant. But if you really need a bucket, I think Durant is just a pr- straight up <laughs> because no one can really guard a shot and no one can really contest a shot. Yeah. So. 